Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit about how I built that build that you just saw and I'm also going to be taking you on a tour. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Alright, so there are three different walls that are going to seal off the harbor. First things first, we're going to get started with the wall in the front, kind of the main wall, which is big enough for a longboat. You can see here that I decided the width, and then I looked across to make sure I'm lined up, and then I used a longboat to make sure that the height that I'm using is correct. You can see here with some screenshots, we're kind of coming back and looking at the build in a time lapse sense, you know, just adding in those basic shapes, some arches there for the bridge, then bringing in crenellations and some simple details for the sides. After that, coming in a little closer, you can see that we've got some wood details going in with some wooden poles and then some stools, which I think really made the whole build kind of pop. And then you've got some colors coming in and some details on top of the wall itself. After that, I really just needed to copy this design in a smaller version over here in this side for the carves. You can see there with the carve and then do it again with a larger design to hold back the mist lands. All right, so first things first, we've got the main sea wall. You can see how massive this thing is to actually be able to fit a longship underneath. Also, you can see from this side, we have a pretty large like gate looking thing. It's supposed to feel like it could open or close. And then from the front, you can see the details which I used for this wall. So we're kind of just alternating between wood and black marble uh, so that it's not just all a completely black wall. And then, you know, we've just got some handrail details, some blue details here and there some crenellations and then as we head up onto the wall you're just going to see details here that maybe like some army soldiers would use or some workers anything like that you can see here that i did have to break into this rock for this walkway but i thought it'd be cool to kind of use that and uh, just create a little seating area and then we head down the wall we've just got some extra details here going down towards the workshop which we'll see in a minute and then you can see here we've just got a spot down here which is much smaller than the main sea wall that can fit a carve underneath. Also we have the largest wall here in the very back which of course is just more of the same. You can see we've got the same type of details here uh, on the very top. But yeah, if you are thinking about downloading this world, this is the only spot that gets attacked. So look out for that. This will be part of my ultimate membership along with all of my new builds. They'll go there for a month or two and then I'll move them down into the advanced membership with all of my old worlds if you're interested. Also, I do have a cheaper tier if you just want to help support the channel. But let's get into the next section. All right, so I like to always start off with a blueprint for my builds. You can see with the docks, it's curvy on the left, straight on the right. You can see I've decided to support the dock with some pillars and then fill in the floor so that I could just create a first basic shape that I could work with. After that, I went ahead and did a fence design, added a little bit of wood to kind of make it uh, a little more obvious. And then I used this curved circular section of the docks to actually create the lower portion where you could offload your boats. After that, I added in some wood trimming here to match the fence post behind and some details to make it feel like a dock. Then I went ahead and filled in the stairs over here very quickly, which you'll see in just a minute during the tour. And then you can see the completed docks. All right, really quickly, I did want to show you guys the stairs. You can see we've got black marble columns going down the sides, nice handrails, really wide staircase. Uh, you know, I find the wider staircases kind of feel like a little more realistic. Uh, as we come up this way, we've got a really cool little kind of turnaround here over to the wall, which was completely unplanned, if I'm being honest. Just like in the last video, planned the stairs really poorly with my blueprint. <laughs> Um, but it honestly worked out really good. I think this looks really nice uh, overall. All right, the docks. Now, I think that any harbor and like dock area is a great way to throw in some curved lines into your build. So you can see on the left side, I definitely took advantage of that. And then on the right side, I kind of straightened that line out and connected up to the Seagate to kind of throw in some variety, just throw in a little bit of both. If we hop off the boat here, which I almost just missed, we're not going to talk about that. 
um, but yeah as we hop off the dock here you can see we've got a little offloading area uh, you know single staircase for a quick access but then also a double staircase here in case you've got a storage cart full of items over here on this side you can see that we've got kind of just like a harbor setting here uh, the barrel and the crate i get asked about these i'll put the item ids up on the screen right now you can spawn those in with dev commands they are not uh, modded pieces or anything like that uh, but yeah as we head down the docks you can see we've got some benches we've got some crates and really on this end of the dock it's really more just a nice view of the harbor let's be real I mean it's not you don't really need this side so I didn't really decorate it much but yeah that's it for the docks let's head on to the next section the workshop All right, so with the blueprint, you can see I have two one meter gaps. Those are for marble floors. You can then see that I got started by building a brick laying pattern for my walls and adding in some arches for some windows. I then moved on to the second floor where I built outwards to increase space on the inside and to give the building a pretty cool look. And then I sealed those off and decided to add some crenellations to the roof. We've now got a basic shape for the workshop. It was time then for me to move on to adding a few details, adding some wood, some wooden stools, some blue for some color, and now my building looks a little bit better. After that, I wanted to seal it all off on the roof, so I added in some iron beams to support that roof, and then I went ahead and finished up the top floor by adding in some black marble arches and then by adding in some wood details which I could then later add some vines to to make it feel really cozy up there and feel like a really cool outdoor space that is it for the workshop build all right the workshop now this thing turned out awesome you can see from the outside we've got uh kind of three different floors the two inside floors are kind of your main workshop and then up here on the very top we've got an outdoor kitchen absolutely love how this space came out on this side next to the cliff we've got kind of your basic uh kitchen with kind of pots and pans tucked down into a shelf you know different things you need to cook storage some decoration some fermenters also some food on display which you could leave or maybe like grab really quick on the go more display food here kind of tucking some food into the serpent meat uh, which I learned on stream a while back. I'll be streaming again soon, by the way. Uh, keep a lookout for that. Hopefully, like, once a week. We're going to be finishing the Shire build very soon. Little beehives here. A little table with some stuff. A little bench with some mead horns. Horn, horns of mead? Wait, what are those? Yeah, a, horn, a mead horn of Odin. Yeah, I got that wrong. <laughs> But yeah, on the inside, in the very center here, we've got a little butcher's table, kind of worked into a table, kind of like a little island here or something. I don't know, a little prep table for your kitchen, uh, just there for show. And then above, we've got the living terrace. Uh, you, you know, I have no idea what you call it. It's like a living roof? I don't know. But this time, you can see that I went with a more kind of like wooden design, and I used the vines on the sides of it to make them seem like they're more like attached. I don't know. I just felt like this was... A little cooler this time around and i think it worked out looking a little bit nicer but yeah let's head to the bottom floor of the workshop as we head down the stairs we're going to pass the house which we'll go into later on and you can see we can come down onto this space which is the two floored workshop you can see i definitely wanted to keep this an open space just check this out it's kind of like symmetrical up here on the top with the forge table on the left the crafting bench on or the workbench on the right and then you know like the storage and everything i love how that turned out with the symmetry you can head all the way around there's storage all around if you need it and we even have our little table here as well i actually totally forgot the name of that i'm gonna be honest what are these things called again the galder tables i didn't want to get it wrong but you know what it is what it is where nobody's perfect as we get around here we've got some nice uh chest kind of tucked away i thought that might be useful as you're coming in and out of your workshop and as we come down we've got your black forge we've got a little area here different little things you know just completing your workshop coal and wood area over here uh, i did try to leave access to everything but uh you know unfortunately the eater refinery is up top i mean I know this isn't ideal, but I do think that you can kind of like, you know, like parkour your way up there kind of. Yeah, see, you know, it's it's doable. 
but yeah i think the workshop came out really nice with all the little details and kind of a two floor open design All right, so once again, we have two one meter gaps. This time, instead of black marble floors, those are gonna be used for details. You can see I did a brick laying pattern once again to fill in the basic shape. Then I went ahead and made it functional with a staircase leaning more to one side to allow for walkways on the different floors. I added a handrail on the very top, and then I added in some corner details with pillars. And then I opened up the bottom of the tower, which you'll see in a minute. You can see here I'm adding some details with some stools, adding some details with a nice handrail, then detailing those details with some wood, then adding in a window here with some arches, adding in some blue here, some color, and now we've got kind of a completed look for the tower. I just need to add a roof to the top, which you can see I'm using corner pieces and matching angles to match it up with the main house. Then I brought the roof out over the tower, and that is that. All right, so the tower. Right over here next to the kitchen is the top of the tower. You can see that this place actually is three floors, just like the workshop, just like the house. The reason why I did a tower is actually because if you look at like old castles and stuff, a lot of the times they have staircase towers. And so I kind of wanted to do that to bring the staircase out of the workshop and out of the house and just put it into a tower, which also kind of adds to the fun of the look of the build. You can see on the outside we've got some really nice details uh, going up the walls. I brought in those stools again, once again, just like in the sea walls, some nice pillars in the corners, some little windows, a little thing down here, which we'll check out in a minute. And even the roof, I think, turned out really nice. So yeah, here at the top of the tower, you can see we've got kind of a cool little space on the inside with the roof. Uh, you can see the roof was a little bit tricky. With the roof, I really just wanted it to really nicely connect up to the house roof, and I wanted it to over over oh but I, I wanted it to stick out over these pillars uh but yeah as we head down the stairs past the little like storage area here on the side you can see we've got some details on the walls and then when we head down you can see we've got a little second floor walkway connecting up the second floors of the other buildings we come down we've got more details and here we've got kind of like a little fishing area now if you go out here you can see that i mean admittedly it's it's pretty tiny it's not that great. And then I brought in a little bit of dirt in the bottom of the tower to make it feel like you go in and outside. And yeah, we've got some fishing poles and I just think it's kind of some really good vibes in the bottom of the tower. All right, so getting started here with the basic blueprint. Once again, I decided to create the basic shape first with the walls and this time with the floors. Remember that I did leave a one meter gap on each level for the black marble floors. Now we're gonna go quickly through the entire build and then zoom in. First of all, we've got the roof, then the pillars in the corners, then also some nice details with some wooden stools and then kind of finishing it up with some windows, doors and some color. You can see over here in my test area, these were some pillars I was kind of messing around with maybe using. And then you can see the pillars I decided to use four core wood poles in a square, but rotated a little bit diagonally so that you can see that rounded shape. Lots of different things here going on, windows, colors. As we go upwards, you see the roof, slanted roofs on the left, angled peak roofs on the right, trimming details on both of them to kind of bring them together. And then finally, a Tudor style element on the front of the build. All right, the house. This is probably my favorite part of this build. I was a little nervous to try this. I hadn't really seen like a regular house with a regular roof with black marble yet, but I think it came out really nice. And I think, you know, the main reason for that is the mix of wood and black marble. You can see with the walls, I've got the pillars. Uh, we've even got the stools and we've got the trimming. We've got the doors. 
all to go with that black marble so it's not just a solid black marble building uh, we've got the roofs also which bring in some wood details we've got also a little tudor style element which i think adds really nicely to the build you can see i even added that uh back here in the back but actually i probably shouldn't show you this side of the build huh but yeah heading to the inside of the house we're gonna get started here on the first floor what am i doing uh we're gonna get started on the first floor what am i doing first floor we've got a bit of a storage room here i kind of put some armor over here so over here we've got like potions on the go and potions all tucked into the walls we've got the trophies up top treasure down here and then of course your kind of storage system here with all of your signs to label your boxes and also a fermenting area which um yeah is really unnecessary considering that you've already kind of got that in the kitchen area but yeah just a general storage room here and then we've got a pretty cool entrance into the storage tower which the storage tower what am i talking about what is this crate oh my gosh uh, but yeah, as we head up the staircase, you kind of have like your second floor landing here, I guess you could call this. I don't know, that's really fancy for just like some pieces of wood. And yeah, we've got the bedroom area here on the second floor. I put in places for everybody, little personal chests next to each bed, a little place to sit next to this one. Uh, once again, personal chests, some storage for this guy, maybe storage for this gal, you know, uh, a little kind of tucked in, kind of recessed storage in the wall here, a uh, little place to sit. And then like your third bedroom i think this is my favorite one with the windows right next to the bed but yeah let's go ahead and head upstairs which is kind of your portal room i mean you really could put anything here i suppose because it's kind of small you know maybe this would be better for a storage room really but i just thought that you know throwing a few portals in here would be really nice if you are downloading the world uh this is where you'll pop in through through one of these portals and yeah in the back there wasn't quite enough room for a portal so i put like a little desk and some storage and yeah, that's pretty much it though for the house. All right, so I did just want to put out one final reminder that I am going to be changing my logo, my banner, and of course my name along with it in the next week or so. So definitely keep a lookout for that. But thank you guys for watching. More coming soon. Take care and see you soon.